Bạn đẹp The Ariana Grande perfume everyone says smells like a rich heiress. Let's smell it. Pretty. It's called the cloud. Ooh. Whoa. She's absolutely beautiful. Let's smell her. Oh, whoops. She comes out of the cloud. Okay, okay. I don't smell anything. I don't know if I'm dumb, but this literally just smells like my legs after I take a shower. Okay, I figured it out. It smells like my legs after I shave. Like, it smells like expensive shaving cream plus a shower. Like, it smells like hotel shampoo lotion. I, I, it smells like I bathe. Do you want to smell expensive but you're balling on a budget? I got you. Just keep watching. Here are three of my favorite expensive perfumes and the dupes for them. First, we have Creed Silver Mountain Water, which retails for $415. Every time I wear this, I get compliments on it. It says it's for men, but it's unisex and it smells amazing on women. And the dupe for that is Rassassi Al Wasim Day, and it's $54.90. Next, we have Baccarat Rouge, and it retails for $825. I just finished my bottle, and I just bought the perfect dupe for it. And that is Cloud by Ariana Grande, and it retails for $64. And finally, the perfume that Rihanna wears that everybody smells on her and is obsessed with, Love, Don't Be Shy by Killian. And that retails for $870. And the dupe for that is this right here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it retails for about 90 bucks. Okay, so I work in healthcare and one of my patients came in the other day smelling intoxicatingly good and this was the perfume that she said that she was wearing. So I went home, found it online at Macy's and bought it. It's about $68 for the ounce, but guys, it has like a creamy woody scent to it and it smells so good. My most complimented perfume by woman. So many women have stopped me when I wear La Vie to ask me what the sugary scent is. Ladies are shocked to hear that I'm wearing Coco Mademoiselle Intense because they usually don't like that perfume, but they loved it on me. It's like cloud. It smells great on everyone but me. And my most complimented is Viva La Juicy Gold by Juicy Couture. This smells like caramel berry deliciousness, and women always ask me what I'm wearing when I have this on. Here are my top perfumes for a first date and what they say about you. Why yes, my collection is indeed all perfume testers. Why you ask? Because I'm cheap, indecisive, and I have expensive taste. Up first, Glossier You. Now Glossier You is supposed to be you, if who you are is someone who loves vintage Levi's, hoop earrings, and Maggie Rogers. Do you feel seen? Okay, I can't believe I'm sharing this with you guys because it's literally my secret weapon. It's like the type of perfume that people are like, you smell amazing, and I'm like, it must be my shampoo, but I know it's not. This is the most subtle scent that every single person can smell and will just be like, what are you wearing? It smells amazing. This one means you're effortless. 
Okay, Bergamot 22 is fresh and warm at the same time. It's like spunky, like I feel like you'd wear a leather jacket. Like maybe Demi Lovato wears this one. Okay, Meliora, you are a princess who flies private, but you're still down to earth and nice. Enjoy. Top 5 Don't Be a Lady, Be a Bitch perfumes Christian Dior Hypnotic Poison, Thierry Mugler Angel, Thierry Mugler Alien, Marc Jacobs Decadence, and YSL Black Opium. You guys asked for a perfume tour, so here it is. This one is a unisex perfume. It has woodsy and sweet scents with notes of vanilla, iris, and honey. It's one of my favorites. Light sandalwood and cedarwood scents. I don't reach for this one as much. It's much like the Labo. Woodsy with a musky sweet rose. This is definitely one of my favorites. Amber, woodsy, and floral. This perfume has such long wear. It's amazing. Woody, warm, and earthy. This is one of my favorite perfumes too. Warm Citrusly and Floral, a classic perfume. Sakura Cherry Blossom, this is a great summer scent. Jasmine with notes of pepper and patchouli, this is a sheer mist, but I like it better than the perfume. Peppery, musky, and earthy, this scent lasts a long time, I love it. A peppery rose that smells like old people, I wouldn't buy this. Floral and fruity with hints of musk, but not worth the hype in my opinion. Scent check. Okay, so is it just me or is it like super important to have a signature scent? I'm a very fragrant person. I love when I give someone a hug and they're just like, oh my God, you smell so good. Or I love when I'm walking past someone and they're like, what are you wearing? So today I'm gonna put you guys on to my top favorite scents that I get the most compliments on. Number one, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This is a woodsy vanilla scent. It's so sexy and so grown up. Like, it's like that girl that just has her whole life together. This is what this smells like. It smells like success and shmoney. Number two, in a close second, Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. I don't know why I haven't repurchased this in a while, but I literally saw this on sale and I had to grab it. I've used this all of high school and it's the most amazing vanilla-like scent you will ever try out. I actually layer these together when I go out. And for cheap body sprays, this takes the cake. I've been using this since middle school. It leaves such an amazing scent. I get lots of compliments on this one. Sweet Sunrise by Body Fantasies. For lotion, I use Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. If you know, then you know this stuff is amazing. I also have the Travel Size Body Wash and Body Spray. You're welcome. Chanel number five. If you want to smell like an old 
I'm gonna show you my all-time favorite perfumes and the ones that I get the most compliments on, especially from the boys. Number one all-time favorite is Sunset Riot from All Saints. It actually is unisex. Just try it, it's unbelievable. Number two is this little guy called Vanille and it's from Anthropology. It is so simple and so delicious. People are literally gonna wanna take a bite out of you. Number three is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. And the only way I can explain this is that it smells like you've been on some bougie vacation. It's so amazing. Every time I wear this, everyone's like, what are you wearing? Number four is Wild Child from Good Chemistry. I get this at Target, it's so inexpensive. I feel like I'm like just a super badass chick when I wear it. Number five is this new Ariana Grande perfume. It's so sweet and light and just like pretty. You just feel pretty when you wear it. Oldie but a goodie is this alien perfume. I will never get over it. I've loved it from the first day I tried it. It's a lot bolder, more intense than the other perfumes that I showed you, but I just can't get enough of it. Are Ariana Grande perfumes actually worth the hype? This is Ariana's REM perfume. I already love the packaging. It gives me very much break-free vibe. As for how it smells, it has strong notes of caramel, lavender, and pear blossom. It's a little bit sweet, but also salty. It gives me very feminine, sexual, and first date kind of vibes. It's one of my favorites. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. The next perfume is Ariana's Thank You Next perfume. This has notes of white pear, raspberry, coconut, and pink rose petals. Immediately, I notice it's very sweet and very sugary. It gives me very playful, mean girls, teenage drama, and Barbie vibes. I could definitely see middle school girls wearing this. I'm honestly not the biggest fan. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Go to part 2.